KCHS. Thanks for tuning in to the November issue of Inc. TV. I'm your host, Izzy Cavazzoni. And I'm Kate Radu. In this episode, we'll give you the rundown of school events in November 2016. Let's jump right in. The long wait for Spring Spirit Week begins now, but students still reel from what went down in the halls this fall. CHS witnessed what may be the biggest upset in recent Spirit Week history. Let's go to Dylan Josephson with the story. The annual Fall Spirit Week kicked off with Halloween on Monday. Themes for the week included Pajama Day, Grunge Day, Fancy Day, and High School Stereotypes Day. Events included the Costume Contest, Jenga, the Flip Off, the Art Challenge, and Dodgeball. At the end of the week, the freshmen and the seniors were tied with 280 points. The SGA held a tiebreaker on Wednesday, November 9th after exams. The tiebreaker was composed of three events. Round one was Giant Jenga, which followed the same rules as usual, except with larger blocks. The seniors won this event. The next round was the flip-off, part two, which had the freshmen come out on top. Round three was musical chairs. The seniors took the final event and were announced to be the official Spirit Week champions. For Ink TV, I'm Dylan. Now back to Izzy and Kate in the studio. Thanks, Dylan. That tiebreaker had me on the edge of my seat. In other news, the Drama Club Council celebrates success as they wrap up the first comedy night. The evening of laughter and fun closed out an exciting week for students on the last day of Spirit Week. Funds raised from comedy night go towards the spring show. Preparation for the spring musical, which is yet to be released, begins soon. Dillian Lynch has more details on this new event. Comedy Night occurred on Friday, November 4th, and it began at 6.30 p.m. The new fundraiser featured student-written comedy sketches, which were performed by the Drama Club. Council members announced a sketch writing contest in September to the whole school, so students outside of the club could join in. After a week of ticket sales during Spirit Week, the club had sold enough tickets and concessions at the event to make over $600 to go towards the club's expenses. We asked director Annie Ruoff about the planning and the outcome of Comedy Night. Um, planning actually was not as bad as I thought it was. Um, we were all working together as a team and I didn't put too much stress on myself. I had a lot of really great people who I was working with and I was able to delegate certain jobs. Um, a lot of the responsibility fell on the cast to memorize their lines and also help write the sketches themselves. Um, it was difficult just because we've never done this before and so there really was no set template for it. Um, but I think the show itself went really, really well. Everybody seemed to be enjoying themselves, both in the audience and in the cast and crew, and um, I would definitely say it was a success. For Ink TV, I'm Jillian Lynch. Now back to Izzy and Kate in the studio. Thanks, Jillian, and congratulations to the Drama Club for an amazing show. As students prepare for Thanksgiving break, Courtney Kushner went into the halls to find out what students and teachers had planned for their four-day weekend. Let's go to Courtney and see what's in store for Turkey Day this year. Hey CHS, I went out into the halls to find out students and teachers Thanksgiving plans and traditions. My family usually comes to my house and we go to my all my school football game. The Yarn family tradition is family fights when like Aunt Barb, when somebody brings up politics and Aunt Barb storms out with her wife and then nobody talks to each other for the rest of the night. It's my favorite. I just hope that peace is at the table. You know, this election, it's been kind of wild, and I don't know how it's going to split. I hope my sisters are on the same side as me, because it could get ugly. Break. Uh, yeah, I usually go to my grandma's house and eat a lot of food, so that's pretty good. For Inc. TV, I'm Courtney Kushner. Now back to Izzy and Kate in the studio. Thanks, Courtney. Students are in the second marking period of the 2016-2017 school year. On November 8th and 9th, students got bagels provided by the PSFA to start the day. The tasty tradition not only marks the end of marking period one, but also midterm exams. Let's go to Audrey for more. CHS students received their grades from last week's midterm exams. To end the first marking period, students took exams on Tuesday, November 8th and Wednesday, November 9th. Signing off for Inc. TV, I'm Audrey. Now back to Izzy and Kate in the studio. All right, thanks so much, Audrey. Well, that closes out the month of November so far. We'll see you in December while CHS gets into the holiday spirit and begins preparing for the new year. For Inc. TV, I'm Izzy Cavazzoni. And I'm Kate Rideau. Have a great day and a great Thanksgiving break.